Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys this week's Throwback Thursday video. And today is a pair of sneakers that um, you guys might remember from the longtime subscribers. Um, because I actually had you guys help me choose which um, pair I was going to get Nike ID'd. And, uh, and I ended up doing uh, this pair right here. So I'll go ahead and open it up and show you guys what we have inside. So this is Nike ID in the, uh, the Nike ID box. And we have some Air Jordan Alpha 1s, and these are um, the Skeletor-inspired Alpha 1s. Basically, uh, if you guys are, are familiar with He-Man, um, this is like the, kind of the Skeletor-inspired uh, version of the, uh, this, the the Air Jordan Alpha 1. And I basically designed this one just for fun. I thought it would be kind of neat. I didn't realize actually Nike SB has a Skeletor uh, version, so that's kind of cool that they have that. But this was fun for me to be able to design a version like this for the uh, Air Jordan 1. Alpha. Now I do have a pair of Air Jordan ones uh, here for comparison uh, reasons. So you guys, some people, I mean, I, I honestly don't know the difference or when the, the Air Jordan One Alpha or the Alpha One came uh, into uh, the light, I guess. But I know they have it available on Nike ID, um, and I just I didn't know that there was that, that much of a difference between the Air Jordan ones and the Alpha ones. Um, they look very very similar, as you guys can see. There's, I mean, the overall upper design is is pretty much on par uh for both of them um the soles as you can see are, are pretty much exactly this sole is an upgrade though you can see it has the visible zoom uh underneath here which i think is great and you have some stars uh right there and the pattern is a little bit different but overall the same circle pattern a little bit more detailed and then also the midsole there's some differences you could see right here it's a little bit more textured it kind of sticks out a little bit um versus this one it doesn't i'll try to get a close for a close look at this but you can see and there's a little bit of glue or something right here but you can see it's just kind of encaved right there and this one obviously it's not those are the major differences i see all in all like it's pretty much i mean just it's pretty much the same exact shoe uh minus a couple little upgrades here and there this one also has a fused kind of like section right here so this isn't a separate strap piece right here. It's like fused down um, to the shoe. And uh, I don't know. The, all, all in all, the uh, the construction of these are really nice. And you can see the different materials that I chose. Um, or the different colors. You got this blue and then this crazy purple look. And then I chose purple laces to make it kind of pop. You can see the little accents in, in uh, yellow and the sole. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, also, the reason why I wanted to show you guys this video is uh, I've been hinting that I'd be doing another Nike ID uh, contest soon, and I wanted to actually start it now, but I, unfortunately some things have come up um, in the personal life, and I'm going to wait to do this. I just cannot, it's not necessarily the money to be able to to do the Nike ID contest, it's the time uh, involved with it, and the, the time involved with doing the contest, it might not seem like it's a lot, but uh, last time I had, I think, 13,000, or 1,300, um, like entries and that that's just a ton of entries to go through and try to figure out which ones I like and save some in the collection in a folder it was just it was a lot of effort to do and I don't have the uh, the time uh, to do that so unfortunately I am gonna postpone the Nike ID contest until a further date um, summertime is pretty crazy for me I wanted to do it in June because um, July in August and September are really 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 busy um, and, uh, and so I, I don't know how, if my videos are going to slow down or not. It depends on, on how things go, but I, I DJ a ton in those uh, months. So, um, and that's a, another little difference. Obviously the back you have this X's and O's right here. That's kind of cool. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, I apologize for, uh, kind of leading you guys on to, uh, to that Nike ID contest idea. I really do want to do it. I just, I, I have to wait, unfortunately. So I apologize for those that were looking forward to that. I'm still looking forward to doing it. I just am hoping um, it will definitely happen between now and Christmas. Let's just say that. It's just probably more towards the Christmas side of things because of the, the time constraints. But um, but this was just a, a, one of those ones that I designed um, back to the sneakers at hand here for Throwback Thursday. Uh, again, this one happened a little over, I think about two years ago, where I designed these and then I designed a pair of uh, Thundercat Alino inspired dunks. And you guys actually chose these ones as a more um, this one had more votes than the linos and so I ended up getting these um, I actually haven't even worn these ones yet um, it's just kind of like a wild out there color and so that's something I got to think about when I do um, the next Nike ID because I've been looking at doing another Nike ID here and there as well um, I want to do one that's 
that's that I could throw on and wear with like anything that I kind of feel like um, wearing. And this one's just one of those ones you can't really do that because it's such a bizarre uh, look to it. But uh, still kind of a fun one nonetheless. Uh, at least I thought it was kind of fun and I figured I'd show you guys this. I believe that the Air Jordan 1 Alphas are still available on Nike ID to do. And I know it's not technically an Air Jordan uh, 1, but uh, but I mean, I'll throw the technicalities out. It's a nice looking sneaker and you got the visible zoom on it even uh, better. So very cool. I do have another pair of the Alphas I uh, showed you guys a while ago. Um, in the in the cream and kind of orange and black colorway that Jumpman Vosick showed me. So shout out to him. Shout out to everybody else that's doing a Throwback Thursday video still. I'm not sure. There's some people that do them every week, some people that don't. Regardless, check out the people's channels in the description if you guys want to check out any of the other channels I'm um, doing a Throwback Thursday. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just uh, kind of a quick one for you guys today. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys for another video tomorrow. Peace.